The path editing tools are a series of features that will allow us to change the position and type of the individual points that go to make up any shape that you import into Canvas Workspace. I've loaded up a few basic shapes here, but remember this will work with anything that you load into the software. To access the tools, you either double click a shape that is not selected, or you would single click a shape that is already selected. And you'll see at the top left you have a new set of icons that appear below the toolbar. These are what control the individual points that are now placed on the shape. I will zoom in a little closer so we can get a better look at what's happening. So again if I double click the shape the bounding box changes to the line editing mode and we have this new set of tools at the top. A square, as you may imagine, is made up of four straight corners and four straight lines. Now we can add points in order to make this more this shape more complicated or complex. And what and you would basically select a node. Each node is attached to a line, so if I want the extra point to appear here I would make sure to select this node and then click add point. Now I can move those around and I can change their type from straight to curved and that will give me additional handles and control points via which I can change the shape. I can also select more than one node at a time by dragging a selection box and change the corner types back and delete those points if I wanted to. Now if I select this node it will select this line and then if I select open closed outline this removes the cutting line between those two points essentially giving us a flap or a door like we created using the path tools in one of the previous lectures. I can now close that though by clicking again on the open closed outline icon. That's now returned it to being a closed shape. Moving on a circle is also made up of just four points, but each of those points is a curve. This scalloped circle, however, is made up of both straight and curved points. Each of the curved points has a control handle as well. And if they get too much, if there are too many of them for you to see the detail that you're trying to get to, you can hide them using this checkbox. And there you can see they've been hidden from us, so we can just access these individual points. Show them again by unchecking that control point. The border, again, is made up of just straight and curved lines between all of the nodes and the curves are controlled by the control points. This is the same for every shape that you import. Now when it comes to text that you have entered using the text feature in Canvas Workspace, we have an issue. If we double click on this shape, we simply enter the text editing mode. We don't enter the line editing mode. We can fix this though, um, but it is a destructive step, as in you won't be able to edit the text after this. So it's important to have your text as you want it before you take the next step, which is to go to the edit menu and click on weld. 
This will now convert the text into closed shapes, each with control points and straight and curved lines. So basically how and when you apply this or when you use this is really up to you. There are many different reasons why you might want to do this or might want to use these features. For instance, if you've scanned something in and you want to clean up the outline and make it a little bit smoother and a little less jagged, the path tools are your best friend in that case.